Shooting feature film in Ukraine in 2023 differs a bit from shootings before the war. But there are some fundamental steps for every big shoot. I will show you the process of preparation and filming of a few scenes for an upcoming movie called City of Void. The water tower shooting location is placed near the Bikivnia Grace National Historic Memorial, which is built to commemorate the victims of political repressions during the Stalin regime. So it will be ethically correct to pay respect to this place. The preparation is essential step for a big shootout. Writing script, making props, scouting locations, and then comes very important step: writing short list. I found myself comfortable with this kind of template, where I have such columns. It helps to plan the whole shooting depending on the time, lighting, stage preparation, camera movement, action. It saves time, money and guarantees the quality and effectiveness of the process. You don't need to be a pro painter to make a useful work in storyboard. All you need to make it understandable. So be comfortable even to draw cucumbers instead of people. During the drawing process you will focus on details, composition, action, camera movement and will save a lot of time at the shooting day. Let's go to the location. We checked the, the mining map, but still we are very concentrated on the road near the forest because of possible mines. Locals warned us of some grenades were found in the nearby territory. Before going with the nectar to the main location, I give some instructions according to shortlist for next scene preparation. As we split, we have radio communication with us, so we can get in touch every 15 minutes, just in case. Robert Pellman. Uh, uh, hello, I'm playing uh, Tony and I'll translate in English for you. Back in 1940s, uh, USSR Secret Service, uh, they uh, took uh, some of this land in order to organize a cemetery of people that they repressed uh, during Stalin's regime. So a lot of the people, over a thousand, uh, how, how many? Uh, 50 to 100,000 of people. 50 to, to, to 100,000, nobody knows for sure, have been buried. Uh, 18,000 uh, were identified by SBU of, of Ukraine. 18. 18,000 identified with names. So uh, you can quite confidently call it a genocide because people from different classes have been buried here, from, you know, working class, uh, from, uh, I don't know, some people from the village to intellectuals, everybody, pretty much. And right in this forest there is a memorial uh, dedicated to people who have been killed, who have been shot, who have been tortured by the Stalin regime, uh, which is, you know, it, it's ba basically it, it, it's the same as uh, they used to do back in the USSR all the time. And we came there with flowers, uh, you know, to pay respect to this place, to those people, because uh, that's what we think is uh, ethical, you know, in, in case if you are, if you are coming there. And a lot of uh, foreigners are buried in there as well. A lot of uh, citizens uh, from Poland, and the uh, Polish president uh, came to the opening of the memorial. Uh, this is a massive tragedy and, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty much on the same page as, as Auschwitz and, uh, and the rest of uh, the ma mass burials. Babin Yar as well, uh, in Kiev, Treplinka and the rest. path to the top is very dangerous. Everything is rusty, there is no confidence uh, if you put your hands on something it will fall off. Some reinforcements were done with metal wiring, some wood. It all looks very unstable. 
Also one interesting thing, uh, I found airsoft BBs on the floor. So I assume some games were played here, but it's extremely dangerous, especially if you have adrenaline rush. Wow. By the way, I 3D printed some new parts for my camera. <laughs> it's the perfect place to test them now when there is an important shooting. I hope everything will be good and we'll take a great footage from here. Let's go further to the top. This is almost the top of the tower and here is old huge rusty barrel. Are you enjoying this adventure? Not yet. <laughs> Let's see. This is the most dangerous part of the path to the roof. No stairs. No, no, stop by the red one. As for me, it was very hard to get down because I couldn't see where to put my legs and uh, there are very few metal uh, solid parts on this platform uh, to grab with hands. Um, that was really scary, but everything gone well. Yo bro, we did it. To get cinematic image you go full manual or sign mode. I shoot 24 frames per second. And you set shutter speed to one fifth of a second and almost never you will change it to get smooth cinematic uh, looking motion blur. Also you should find picture profile with most dynamic range on this camera it's S-Log2 or S-Log3 for even more wider dynamic range. I prefer S-Log2. To control the exposure you can use different ISO settings and some uh, small adjustment of the aperture. If it's not enough use ND filters of different density. During the daylight shooting I always use linear polarizing filter for enhancing the contrast. You don't need more expensive circular polarizing filters if you don't have a mirror inside the camera. Don't forget to clean all optical elements before every shooting, especially if you have furry friends. Taking with you white semi-transparent fabric and black one is a good addition to the camera gear. You can create shadows, reflect the light to the face of an actor or even block camera lens from direct sun rays. If you have two extra team members, they can hold fabric screen and will save a lot of time on setting up C-stands. But be careful so you won't get dynamic lighting from shakes. In the description of the video I will put the link to the model of 3D printed matte box for cocking filters designed by me, so you can download it for free and 3D print for yourself. Stay safe and have fun creating cinematic content.